moly. What do we got going on this morning? And go get some dune tires caught. Whoa! Set of boggers, get them caught, scooped. Kermit's got two 35s in here. We got four 33s for the LSTJs. Yep. Uh, so they cut the sidewall out, scoop the tread, take this meat way down, and uh, they throw some roost. Yep. So we're getting set up for dune season. They're all on five wides, yep. right? We run adapters, so adapt into our lug pattern, and uh, yeah. It's a really light setup, and they yeah. throw a lot of sand. Sand, yep, and they hook up good. So we got them all loaded up. We're heading down to the Michigan Indiana border to a guy with the, I don't even know what his name is. What's his name? It's uh, ET, Eric Taylor's Economy Cut Tires. Does an awesome job. Local guy, does a lot of the boggers stuff up around here, but uh, we like to run them in the sand. So heck, heck yeah. we're gonna so let him eat. Maybe he'll let us do a little video when we get <laughs> down there of some ones that are already cut. And uh, we'll show you guys. We've had a couple people ask what tires are on you know some of our dune rigs and uh this is what we run we run boggers we get them cut and they work awesome so we're gonna get in the truck and head down the highway what's up youtube eric from living in the mitten here got the old silver bullet in here doing a little uh dune prep after our snow wheeling adventure um didn't have too terribly much to do on the old silver bullet um, I did break an axle shaft and tore up a power steering pump, but uh, let me get my flashlight out here show you guys. Broke the uh, passenger side um, front axle shaft, so put the old poor man RCV in there and show you guys a picture. My garage is on that, or uh, show you guys what my what the broken one looked like. There's one piece. There's one piece. Here's another piece of my uh, old axle shaft that I broke. Actually broke it in three pieces. Broke the shaft, broke the joint, blah, blah, blah. So she's pretty rough. So put the poor man RCV in the old girl. And then uh, power steering pump had quit when I was up there. Pretty common deal. Um, I don't think these power steering pumps like the RPM. So got a new power steering pump on there. Didn't film that. Pretty, uh... Pretty basic stuff, part swap, GM truck stuff. So, um, so now, now that the mechanicals are in pretty good shape, didn't got an exhaust hanger to fix. No big deal. Before we head to the dunes for the open here, opener here in a few days. Um, so I'm taking some time to get the interior cleaned up. Got pulled the front carpet out. Got one piece here that I've already washed. Um. For, it's been a few years since I've had the carpet out of this and it was pretty muddy from taking on water and stuff Sorry about the flashlight blinking there, but just got some simple green solution Sprayed in there and I scrub it. I scrub it out with uh, a scrub brush and um, Then vacuum up with my shop vac instead of like spraying You know a garden hose or a power washer in here and soaking everything and waiting for it to dry I kind of like to try to control it a little bit um, fortunately, the uh, years of wet wheeling has uh, taken its toll on my driver's slide side floor pan. Um, starting to pick up a little surface rust here. I've it's done it before, and I've treated it once. And uh, I guess I didn't paint it that great when I treated it, but uh, so treating it again. I just got this. Um, it's called Eastwood Rust Converter. Let me get it out here. Yeah, Eastwood Rust Converter. So it converts the rust into like a, I guess a neutral state so it doesn't continue to rust. Brush it on in a couple applications and then uh, paint over it. So I think I'm gonna paint over it with, I'm gonna try to get a, just a spray can of something that is fairly close in color. And then I've been going back and forth. You know, do you put the carpet back in? Do you leave the carpet? out you know i don't really i'm not a huge fan of no carpet you know the tubs can get kind of hot in the summertime so i'm thinking i'm gonna put it back in but instead of uh like it all it tucks all up underneath the center console and junk so i think i'm gonna trim it so it kind of just barely tucks and wraps around the tunnel so i can pull it out real easy after like a, a wheeling trip that way it's easier for me to pull the carpet out i can 
run it to the car wash, power wash it off, or pull it out to let the tub dry in case there's water that gets in. It's just a real pain in the butt to get the water out once it's uh in the rig. So, yep, so just doing a little maintenance, gonna wipe the dash down, just trying to get her power washed up for dune season. I like her clean for duning. And I'm gonna touch some of the paint up on the frame rail. I blew the frame out the other day and I need to treat that with some oil. Just trying to keep this uh, this old girl um, rust free for as long as I can. I've owned this for about seven years and did the long arm, did the LS swap, um, and I haven't hardly ever drove it on salty roads. It's been hauled on a trailer a few times to go wheeling in the winter time. But immediately wash put right back in the garage when I've gotten home. So uh, she's pretty rust free. The body mounts and all that junk are in good shape. So the only real rust is starting in that floor pan over there. I, I shouldn't complain for 20, what is this? It's an old two, so 21 years old. She's in fairly decent shape. So got my, show you guys what I'm doing for my carpet out here. I got, uh, just spray, did the same thing. Spray it down with some uh, simple green solution and hitting it with the old power washer. So seems to clean it up, blows the mud and junk off and then take them inside, throw them in front of the torpedo heater and let them dry. And then I'll haul them down in the basement and put a fan on them for a few days. So that's what I'm up to. I know Dustin um, is trying to find some oil pressure. Um, he claims he's got some bearings in a bottle. Some VR1. 2050 in the old five three burbulator burbalicious aka silver bullet smoker we'll see um but yeah looking forward to the dune opener here here in a few days april 1st michigan silver lake sand dune opener um bring you guys along hopefully the weather holds out for us and we have a great time so we'll see you guys at the dunes Hello, living in the mitten watchers. Uh, getting the red rocket ready to go for the dune opener. April 1st here in Michigan kicks off our dune season. My favorite time of year. Lots of hills right on the beach. The town's awesome. Ice cream every night. Good food. Good people up there. Uh, we have a lot of fun. So if you guys watched, our up north wheeling video from the snow broke some axle shafts nothing really major um mine was pretty trashed inside and out uh Dad, what um, you, you want to get in the jeep yeah, yeah you can get in the jeep all right yeah, there you my, go peanut my daddy's in there your daddy's in there yeah. oh okay here <laughs> and my kids are in there. <laughs> all right so it was pretty trashed inside and out since drumming really hadn't had a good bath uh it's pretty gross in here so pulled the top off i got a new top here for it put that on uh, we're gonna change the oil she only had maybe a day and a half of hard running since i put that pan on it but it was looking kind of dirty so so we'll get the oil changed in it i'm gonna try and wipe it down vacuum it out uh try to get some of the mud out of this thing we typically stay fairly clean at the dunes it's just sandy but shouldn't be muddy nothing like that i also got new mirrors i don't have this is like the closest thing i have to a mirror still that's kind of there the other one's broken off from uh i think it was trail eight on drumming so we'll put mirrors on it and uh Man, grease it, give it a once over. I rip, man, I, I hate to say this, but they're, I mean, change the oil and just hold her on the limiter next weekend. See what happens. So, we do still have uh, the poor man's RCV on one side and a U joint axle shaft on the other. Uh, probably take a long side shaft with us just in case, although we don't really run four wheel drive a whole lot up there. Took her boggers to get dropped off, cut, scoop, lightened up to run on the rear uh, of my, me and Eric are gonna run 33 inch boggers on the rear. 
Uh, we dropped off a set of 35s for Kermit 62 rig. He's got a little more uh, horse torques than we do. Turn a little bit bigger tire. So uh, I'll probably throw the paddles on. I got a little set of paddles here. I'll run on the back. Um, they work pretty good. I like to cut bogger better. You can drive it around the road in town, and uh, they get quite the roost roostages behind it. Um, but unless we come up with something uh, major that I don't see as broke, tweaked, loose, missing at this point, uh, probably see you guys when we get up to the dunes. Uh, hopefully the trip goes good. It's about a three-hour drive from where we're at, two and a half, three hours. Got a big crew coming. Um, it's going to be an awesome time. It's snowing up there right now, uh, so I don't know. We might go to snow slash sand ice but it's michigan it could be 75 and sunny by next weekend but we'll see what happens and uh see you guys in a little bit want to do a little update on the bronco from drumming drumming was a little rough on her she needed some help after that bronco graveyard has a five and a half inch super flex kit so we put that on has Deaver springs for the front and then Deavers for the back. I put a James Duff torque tamer ladder bar on the back. New gas tank, no new fuel lines. Put some 36 inches, super swampers with some bead locks on there. Put super lifts steering in the front. Getting ready for Silver Lake opener. Hoping she'll be ripping. Hopefully the tires won't be rubbing too bad. Had to tighten the old header bolts down. She started leaking a little bit. I forgot to mention the extended radius arms on this. Hoping that makes a big difference up there. Can't see them very 